everyone, it's day number I don't even know of quarantine and this is another video showing you what quarantine is doing to me. <laughs> so recently I had a lot of free time on my hands and I thought I want to get better at something and that something is baking. Baking cookies to be exact. So today we're going to try <laughs> to make sugar cookies with the royal icing and sprinkles and everything and hope to do the best <laughs> all of the ingredients and the whole recipe will that i used will be um included in the description and without commenting any other stuff and losing time let's just start baking <laughs> So for the sugar cookies, you take one cup of softened butter. Now we are going to add in one and a half cup of white sugar. Then you take your hand mixer and cream it all together. Once it's creamed, you're going to add in one whole egg. So there goes the egg. And we're gonna whip that in. So now the last thing I'm gonna do is add in the flour with some baking powder in it and a little bit of vanilla extract. And this is two and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. So let's add it in. <laughs> I'm going to start by putting it in piece by piece so that it doesn't become a dough immediately. Stir it with the spoon and then after that get my hands to work. So for now I'm using the spoon. I'm going to start by um, pushing the dough like together and find the texture of it. Like if it's too sticky, I'm going to add more flour and this is dangerous but if it's like not too sticky and too dry i've seen people add more milk okay so i knead it and knead it and this is how it looks like after i've added a little bit more of flour really just a little bit on top and then kneaded it in and the dough is like nice and firm and everything is well combined but it is still like really soft I'm satisfied with how the dough turned out so I'm not gonna do anything else with it and just stick it into the fridge to let it chill for about like an hour one hour later it's been an hour already and the dough is actually like much more firmer and as I said before it was still kind of like tacky or wet and now it's like firm and just like a normal dough. And now with the dough being more than okay, I'm going to shape the cookies. But here comes another experimental part of this bacon session. And the trick is the fact that I don't know how uh, the dough will bake. So I'm going to make like a test batch and I'm going to test if the dough will like flatten in the oven or if I have to flatten the cookies myself. So I will take a little bit of the dough and leave it like that and wait if it will like flatten out. And the other one I'm going to flatten myself and see how that will bake. I'm gonna bake them for eight or 10 minutes maximally in a preheated oven that has 190 degrees a few moments later um so that didn't work out the flat cookie turned out like this Why 
So for the royal I think I used one egg white and I whipped it until it formed a foam on top. Then I added 170 grams of powdered sugar and colored it with red gel food coloring. And before I whipped that again, I set my piping bag into a glass so that way it's much easier to transfer the icing into the piping bag later. Then I whipped it again with the sugar until it was really thick and I did this eight test and it's basically like you try to draw an eight shape with the icing in the bowl and if it kind of like holds on top for a while then it means it's ready and I transferred it into the piping bag and mm, logically put it on the top of the cookies and I decorated it with these cute colorful sprinkles and then I let it dry and that's basically it. So there you go, that's how I did it. They turned out so adorable and I hope that they taste just like they look. So let's try them out. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. They're really soft, but crunchy at the same time. It's so weird. Maybe it's because of the sprinkles. I'm so happy that the royal icing actually set and it's hard. I can imagine sitting in a cafeteria and drinking some good tea and eating those with it. Mm. So I'm definitely happy about how these turned out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this if you are gonna make those sugar cookies or if you already make them at home let me know if there is something you do differently so that i can learn and maybe try it out next time thank you for being here with me for this video and see you all later and thanks for watching bye